Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Brent Plays With Himself, Control. In episode 15, I continue my search for a slide projector, learn more about the secret of the oldest house and the Bureau of Control, and then I have to go and get the janitor on vacation so that I can get his cassette player so I can go through a maze. Bet you thought this explanation was going to make sense. Sorry, what? Ah, I didn't listen. Well, clearly I was going the right way because it triggered a battle. I thought it was going to be a boss fight, but it was just a bet. It was just that. And that shotgun guy I took over was really helpful. Freeze, Officer Finchie! Okay. Director Finchie? Ooh, another audio recording! Something about. Is that where they keep. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Who's Thomas Zane? What? I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Sane. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? No. Yeah, um, Your brother? Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no. No. Do is not dead. And that's not even it. <laughs> Dylan's not dead, but that's not it. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. Oh. Where the fuck have you been, Polaris? Don't say this to a psychiatrist. As real as what happened in ordinary. An industrial accident in your hometown. I never said it was industrial. An accident. There was no industrial accident. And Polaris didn't cause it. Yeah. She saved me and Dylan. Yeah. No. It was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were. Agents there. Agents from Government the agents. I don't know exactly. He took Dylan. They all find them. I won't stop looking. Wants me to go I've to never in a single therapy session heard so many I triggers. At a very specific time. Something something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up weather in Vancouver, and next to that it says, Reaper of Death found in Western Canada. Yeah, they found it in Alberta. It's a, it's a dinosaur, yes. and the name of the dinosaur translated means Reaper of Death. So, we're pretty baller here in Alberta. We're so cool that when we find a dinosaur, it's like, what should we call it? Reaper of Death. W why? Cuz. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. See interviews herp, and herp, for relevant information. And the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site, note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, DF claims there were eight slides of the projector, JF mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Notes, Dr. Dar Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. 
Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this all will be investigated in the containment sector. Wait a minute. Oh. I didn't come back in the room because I thought that was there, but I'm glad I did. Better slides. No, no. Ooh, yeah. What's this? Uh, boom. Let's do that. Baller. If I keep using C's more, I might increase... That's what you get when you look at Alberta weather. What's the weather in Alberta in February? Reaper of death! Cool, 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 cool. Oh, they reconstructed the dump! What I just said. I didn't say that. Whoa, you're the director, man. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in the slide projectors, found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. So I imagine this is what caused the hiss. Brent knows what even before Jesse. I'm amazing. Hey, you know what this looks like? Another boss arena. Going up. Good thing I did. Hidden file. Globe. The item was found in the penthouse suite at oh, Toronto. Hey! Toronto belonged to David Wolf, who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including oh, oh, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Supplementary bah, 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 article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question being kept... Oh. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nut job radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's a reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties the world thinks he's dead. That's my newspaper voice. It's a good voice. I'm gonna go up these stairs. Ah! There you are. Someone's in the house. That's creeping me out now. Ugh. Scared the crap out of me. It sounded like a door opened. Oh. Creep me out. <laughs> Sorry. It really sounded like a door had opened. It was really creepy. 
game. Game. Oh boy! You know what? Not even mad. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right under me? What a dick. Where is he? There he is. for me no my chair guy Stop it! Do it again! Do it again, I fucking dare you! They want your dick. What? What do you mean they want my ghouls? Dick? Mine? 
Don't project onto ghouls. Get it? It implies that you want my dick. That's the joke. Collecting items because I can. Collecting items all because I want to. That's a fridge. It's a box. Those are all things. More things. Other things. No, I don't want that. Not yet. Open. I'm betting there's something going on in here. Boo! Open this box. But that was a solid five minutes ago. About the door opening freaking you out. They want your dick. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I got really distracted by the fight. Sorry, that one's on me. I promise to try to be better. Hey! Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional oh. research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know what. Darling took the projector to the research sector. Fuck! He dedicated a whole area to it, so he Fuck. knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Come on. Ah! It's still funny, though. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Get the crap out of me. It got really dark. I was like, oh. Boom, more energy. Perfect. Where am I going? Research. Search for the cyber into Oh, the ashtray maze. <gasps> I've already been there! But first... I want to go back... Here. We will figure that out. Hola! I want outfits! Oh, that's a crappy outfit. The one fucking outfit I get, and it's like, sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Well, no, thank you. Okay. That. Okay. Okay. How do I get there? Oh. Like straight ahead, eh? Right there, eh?
fucking be mine. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, chair guy. You, uh, oh, no. Oh, Final Fantasy VII? No way, man. You can't ditch it like that. Fuck, Final Fantasy VII was like my favorite game. Oh. oh, no. Fire break. Oh, I loved Final Fantasy VII. I haven't played it in so long. I started playing it in, uh... Motherfucker. This fucking guy. What do you mean broken? Fuck, man. Broken? How do I fucking get there? I think that's how? I've never played it, so I have no... Even... From nostalgia, it's just a really good game. The story in it's really good. I love Final Fantasy VII. When I first played it, oh, this is taking me back. Um, I didn't get my first game console until I was like a teenager. But my friend had a PlayStation, and he had played Final Fantasy VII, and he talked about how great it was. He'd beaten it before with his brother. So, we would have been in junior high at the time. So, he brought it over and he was like, we'll only all play it together. It was me and my... Was it three? Four? I'm just, <laughs> not because I'm trying to say how many friends I had. But because I'm trying to remember if one of my friends... No. Mm, no, I don't think we were friends with him yet. Yeah, because we were still hanging out mainly at his house. Okay. Me and my two other friends. And we would play. And it was so much fun. Because we would just... Shoot the shit. But, so we created the game... And one of the aspects of the game is you can rename the character. Audie! Where is he? Oh, what the fuck? Now this boy left, said the son of Anikita. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house. Lovely lumps, holiday hops. Can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. Fuck off. Dylan's a lost cause. Whoa. I 
about his youthless an asset. I'd... Just too much too soon. Oh, it was before. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Okay. Wow, we've seen that part. Crazy. Ooh, hotline. Descent. I'll continue my story in a second. You have heard wrong slash fake news. Trump, the board is a okay intact. The rebel faction slash dissent is former slash hired. The crisis slash purge is over. There is not a matter slash worry for you. You can hang up now, please. Well, that's not true. Okay. Anyway, uh... So you can rename characters whatever you want. And the best part was... So... We named the characters after, like, who we thought we, like... We most likely, you know... Were. For lack of a better term. But so the funny thing was... Um... My one buddy was Cloud. Trevor is his name. Um, the buddy who'd played it was like, oh, no, no, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait and see. I don't want to, you know. Uh, so that was funny. But then, um, uh, I was Barrett. Um, the buddy, what's his name, was like, Oh, those are the side missions I can do. Um, was, um... Sid. But anyway. So the women... So Tifa, Aerith, stuff like that. We named after... Uh, girls in our high school that we thought were, like... Really hot. Um... Which is kind of funny. But. Uh, the really funny part was. So we did that. And my one buddy was like. Oh man we have. Named after the chick. He really thought was hot. Like. Very boy stuff. Like, we're just like, oh, yeah, we'll name them after chicks that we think are hot. Um, but the one he named, he was like, oh, she's going to be Aries. And he... He loved Aries. Like, loved Aries. And, uh... Spoiler alert, but really, like, the game's fucking old but um spoiler Ares doesn't um Ares doesn't live <laughs> oh down there um and my one buddy knew that. Like, he was just like, yeah, okay. But, like, yeah, my one buddy would not stop talking. Just about Ares. So when Ares did die, he was... Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, he was heartbroken. He legitimately was, like, super sad about it. It was actually kind of funny. But, yeah, we named, yeah, we named characters, like, I had a girlfriend at the time named Sarah. So, one of the 
girls names was Sarah it was it was funny I liked it it was a fun little thing uh, upgrade grip yes please oh no uh, yeah let's upgrade spin because that's what I use right now oh I can upgrade shatter too Jesus I might as well construct pierce, but I'm not gonna fucking use it. Okay. Cool. Nope, wrong button. Yeah, Sarah was her name. I fucked that up. I just sold everything. Recoil efficiency. Do that then. Oh man. Good pierce. Oh man. That's right. I'll get more. Yeah. Coolio. of me. Stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, man. I love Final Fantasy 7. I also, the last time I played it, I was a teenager, and to this day, when I think back, like, I talked to my buddy about it the other day, I was, or Jamie, I was just like, oh, yeah, what I loved most about it was just, like, how you never knew what was going on, and he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh man, like the story's so convoluted, like it's so confusing, and he's like, it's not really. Can you fight things for me? Go do my bidding. Hey, fuck face. Ow. No. So, man.
Oh, goody. Hey, you know what I haven't had to deal with in a while? That stupid... Fucking... Bad door. <laughs> okay. So that was a bad door. The weird puzzle. Not quite sure about it. Oh, I solved it. Ew. Floor's all way out. Shouldn't be. The fuck was that? Wait, what? <gasps> Wait. How come the key didn't open? What's happening? For whom the bell dings? Why can't I open that door? Is there another door I need to open? Oh. The janitor door. Because he's a janitor. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll be taking this control point, please. I know I walked away for it, but... Bit! Classic. Classic. Okay. Albany summary. A response team was dispatched to a possible aw in progress at Park Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved AI-63. The Bureau discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Fat Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field agent Fat accompanied a squad of ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine awe was considered low. Despite the evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. Good for them! That's good. You always want that. What the fuck? Why am I back here? It's way over there.
Ow! The fuck back here, man. I don't know what's happening. Do something. Give me your fucking body. Yeah, you're mine now. Enjoy. <laughs> Did it. Give me your fucking body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brent's Tinder profile. <laughs> Describe yourself in uh, five words or less. Give me your fucking body. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, did you want something... Fuck off. That was almost bad. Almost bad. Okay. So if I go in through here... Well, I can't go up, so I presume I gotta go down? Because there's no... Other way to go. Sure. Definitely doesn't make you sound like a serial killer. No. Perfectly normal. Whoa. Boink. Audi. Audi Audi, I'm not playing around anymore. Audi This is a bright area. Audi Hey! Oh shit! Thought that was Audi. I was like, Audi! And he was just like, Jesus! And I was like, oh boy, not Audi. Upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise, <laughs> along the south side of the building caused its collapse inward. Wooden crates and accelerated physical <laughs> from <laughs> rendered field agent <laughs> and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found AI-63 at the origin of the 
attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the room set, at which point they altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the Bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians, and the, no, and the reinforming of the communications department was required. Weird. Okay. So what does this do? Audi, where the fuck did you go? Oh, I see. <laughs> Hello! I'm in a bad spot. Take your body. Ow. Your health. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Nothing good happens. No. All right. Oddie with the body. Oh, he's an Oddie with the body, baby. Control two. Better control. It's a good one, actually. Real good. Too good. Who are you? I'm way back here. Well, I fucked that up. Good, now there's an orb. Fuck this. No. Bye. Huh. Control two. This is the longest drop in the world.
We good? Nope. <laughs> Don't know why I thought that. Oh, we're good. No, you're not. Ton more dead bodies. Or a ton more bad guys. Oh, here he comes. And gotcha! <laughs> You should help me. I'll be your friend. Fuck you. Now we good? Oh, we are. Yay! What the? Your existence is weird to me. I'm out of here. Bye. I presume bad shit's going to be on the way here. Oh, oh, that poor guy. No way. Oh, I was really hoping. Nowhere. Tell you right now, I don't like that. Whoa, weird. <laughs> That's weird. That's not how running works. It's not harder to run if you're moving. If anything, it's ba faster. This is a weird thing. Mm. I don't like that. Audi. I know. Couldn't even hold the elevator. Arty. Pretty sure that's correct. Running against motion is a big thing? You're crazy. No, you shouldn't... It shouldn't feel like this when running against something. Oh. Okay. Lot of throwable stuff. <laughs> Where the fuck? Audi, what are you? There's something up ahead. Do no shit. I'm gonna have to fight Audi now. <laughs> Think about moving sidewalks. This is a dumb discussion. I'm moving on. Excerpt from Altered Speech of AI-14, Dr. Theodore Ash. The results are incredible, but more of the speed of the recovery this allows us. AI-14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We, tes we tested this specific string of words, a formula, if you will, on the other altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one, with an 82% success rate. 
We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward. And to think, there are still more words to be found. That's pretty fucked up. That's pretty fucked up. Loadout? Any new loadouts? Ooh, I got one for you. Do you? Any new for you? Ah, oh, come on. Who are you? What sounds like Oh I'm in the woods. Hey, Yeah. Whoa, what's happening? This is cool. Oh, Look at it. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Audie, are you the fucking house? Did you miss me? Yes. Did you have peace in your soul? Yes. You're the house. No, 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 no. But don't make a move. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Is that really just happened? Of course it did. He came here. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Confident. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.